Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here today, guys. This is the one you've been waiting for. This is my Nemix 3 versus Honor Magic 2 comparison review right here. Now, guys, as you know, I've had the Mi Mix 3 for about one week now, and I've had the Honor Magic 2 for coming up to three plus days. And so I'm going to put these phones through the laundry list of design, display, performance, audio, classic Frankie Tech audio test, and then a few camera comparisons. And I'm going to just give my verdict on each one of those sections, which phone I think is better, and then a final overall verdict at the end. So definitely hit me up in the comments, guys, which one, which phone you think is better at the very end. But for now, let's get started. Okay, guys, so I'm going long format here, guys. So I'm going to just jump into each of these sections now. Let's start with design. And let's kind of look first off at the general design of each phone. So we have the Mi Mix 3. You see right here, and both of these phones are distinct because they have that slider phone feature. Now, I'm not saying the Mi Mix 3 is a bad design. It's an absolute beautiful design. Thanks again for the correction, guys, there in the comments. This is ceramic, so it does have a really nice feel to it. It is very premium, and I must say, just in terms of sleekness and in terms of appearance, I'd say from an appearance standpoint, the Mi Mix 3 is definitely a beautiful phone. But... Because of the slider mechanism that's been implemented, there are some major discrepancies that I've started to notice over the use of this phone over the last week. The main one you noticed, obviously, was that gap that I was experiencing on this phone. And you see it here, let's kind of show you again. The gap is significant. Now, let's compare that, first of all, to the Honor Magic 2 right here, which has a very similar implementation here. So you see design-wise it is a fingerprint magnet as well. This is glass so I give that props to Xiaomi because they do have a uh, ceramic back on this and it is just a more premium feel overall. And you see the metal edges here but this phone is glossy. It is fingerprint magnety but I think it is still a really beautiful design. But in the section of design here I want to talk about the main thing and that is this slider mechanism right here. Now you hear, let's play both slider mechanisms right here. I'm gonna spend a good part of uh, this video on design because I want you guys to see how different these sound. So let's go ahead and get it as close to the mic as possible. And you hear that click at the end. It's just a little bit more harsh than I feel on the Honor Magic 2. Let's show you on the Honor Magic 2 now. It is just so much smoother a uh, slider feature. And I think I know why, guys. And now this is where I want to really want to show you this. Have a look very clearly at the build of this phone. So you have your main part of the phone at the bottom. And the way Xiaomi's implemented this, let's turn off the screen here to be very, very clear. You see here, they have implemented kind of a separation of the display on this phone. So in other words, the display is the separate part of this slider mechanism. And so when I slide it up, I have the entire display kind of sliding up and out. And you see here at the bottom, there's this kind of ridged area right here. And so what does that mean? That means that the entire display is kind of sitting separate from the phone. And so I think because of that separation and because the top is so thin, one thing you notice off the bat is that the edges here are plastic. So it just feels very different from the rest of the phone. The rest of the phone feels premium up to that line right there. And everything else is plastic. The other thing I've noticed, and it's gotten worse, listen to that. This thing is wobbling in place. Look at, just notice, just notice it right here. It is wobbling in place. And I noticed that on Tech Tablets, he mentioned that too, when he was playing, that it was kind of sliding a little bit. And I think it's because of the way they've implemented this slider. Now look at it compared to the Honor Magic 2 slider. So when I slide this up, see from this angle here, it looks like the slider is doing the same thing. The screen is just, you know, it's a separate, piece but if you go to the bottom here guys and look at the slider look at the difference at the very bottom of these two phones here it's one entire piece whereas on the actual honor magic 2 look what happens it kind of curves and in fact the majority of the phone you see that the majority of the phone on the slider 
the part that slides out is the phone, whereas the back is not. Whereas in, on Xiaomi's case, the back of the phone is the phone, and the part that slides out is the screen. <laughs> Which piece is the one that feels more shaky, really? I think because of the way they have implemented this curve right here, and the, the fact that the major part that slides out, notice it right here, guys. You notice from the top, it looks very similar, but at the bottom, it's a very different distribution here. And I think what that means is that the Honor Magic 2 has the bulk of its phone actually being a part of the screen. So the screen is not moving because the main part of the phone is the part of the screen. Whereas on the Mi Mix 3, the screen is just sitting on top on these rails that are obviously very shaky and they're just not. I don't know if the implementation that Xiaomi's done here is good. And the other thing, if you notice guys, look at the edge of these phones right here. This is plastic and this is metal. This is plastic, this is metal. Now, why is that the case? And how, how is it that this phone, why in my feeling, is just so much more premium than the Mi Mix 3? It's because of this edge, I'm telling you guys right now. And notice the give on the Honor Magic 2. See that? There is no gap. Back to the give on the Mi Mix 3 and the gap. I mean, to sum up the design, guys, I think both phones have pretty innovative approaches to the slider feature. But I gotta say, I think that Honor's and Huawei's approach to the slider is more effective. It's actually a better approach. By putting more of the phone on the part that slides out and actually having, be the, having the main part of the phone be the front versus, in Xiaomi's case, have the main part of the phone be the back, They've been able to put a bigger battery in there, 3,500 milliampers versus 3,200, and they don't have those give, those kind of squeaky issues that are going on. And the slider mechanism is just, it's just so much smoother. And I showed this to my guy, he agreed. He was like, this mechanism is better than the one on Xiaomi's. I know Xiaomi has some patent on their mechanism, but I don't see it, guys. I gotta give the design award here to the Honor Magic 2 because it is a better implementation of the slide feature than the Mi Mix 3. And there's the proof right there, guys. Hit me up if you think I'm wrong, but that is what I think so far in terms of design. But now let's talk about this display, guys, because I think this is one that you guys are considering here. And both phones have a 6.39 inch display with around a 93, according to Xiaomi and Honor, 93 to 94% screen to body ratios. But on GSM, you have them at 85 and 84.8. So they're so close in terms of just their screen to body ratios here. 403 PPI, full HD displays. So, I mean, because these are so similar, what's different right here? What is different between these two phones? And the major difference here is that the Honor Magic 2 does use the DCI P3 color kind of gamut and is able to capture 100% coverage of that color gamut right there. But the Mi Mix 3 has a, a special thing as well. It has HDR support. So there is kind of a give or take on both of these phones and which panel is the best. Now, kind of in daily use, I got to say I enjoyed my time with the Mi Mix 3, but I started enjoying the experience on the Honor Magic 2 a little bit better. Now, I'm not saying that it's kind of any worse or that it's like any different. In fact, these two screens are probably fabbed in a very similar way and if you look at kind of the white points you know both white points are very similar they have this kind of slightly i guess the xiaomi has a little bit of a more of a pink color whereas the um the honor magic 2 has more of a slightly yellow yellower tinge here but i think in terms of viewing angles you see them there the panel is great on both of these phones. Now, maybe it's just the way that it has been implemented. Maybe it's just the brightness of it. I think uh, Honor Magic 2 gets a little bit brighter, but it's, it's a toss up. In fact, both phones you see there are extremely bright in regular use. So here we go. We're playing a Frankie Tech video right here. I'm gonna put the Mi Mix 3 at the very top here and the Honor Magic 2 on the bottom. And you tell me which one you think looks best. And look at that. That is just looking really nice. Now look, in my 
kind of view from the kind of the way I'm seeing it here. I think I pre I like the colors on this, but they're a little bit more pink. If you notice here, the color of my hand in these shots is a little bit more orange and it's probably a little bit more true to life. So it's interesting. I think the HDR implementation is very clear here. You can see it, but on this phone, uh, it's, it doesn't have that. And so that is going to be maybe a deal breaker for you guys who want HDR on your phone for viewing. And I wonder, I think it's YouTube and some other apps that can do HDR viewing experience. So that's where the Mi Mix 3 might be a step above. But I think both both phones really do YouTube viewing really well. And in fact, probably are two of the best YouTube viewing experiences on the planet right now, just because of how, like, there's no notch and how uncompromised a viewing experience you can have on these phones. So I give the whole display category here a tie for both phones. Both phones have really great screens. I thought this one was better at first, but kind of upon second viewing, I think the Mi Mix 3 is no slouch in the screen department. And uh, quickly talking about DRM info, guys. You see here, and if you haven't seen my other videos, you already know, wow, wow. <laughs> both phones are L3 right now, and I do think this has something to do with them being China phones. So when these phones are released in other markets, guys, it, they may come with L1 security level on those phones. For my versions right here, though, you see both are L3 and L3, which is really kind of unfortunate. It's not a deal breaker for me, guys. I'm not going to be keeping these phones forever. But if you really want to have the future's future forward phone design, but you care so much about HD Netflix and all that other stuff, then wait. You're going to have to wait. That's the sad reality here. Because right now, with these China versions, you got L3, which is a real thumbs down. And talking about performance, guys. So this is one is going to be very interesting right here. And obviously... <laughs> I'm sure we're going to get a lot of heat for saying this right here, guys. But you look at the Geekbench scores, and I know that this score multi-core is a little bit lower on that. But looking just at the single core, guys, 2,295 on the Snapdragon 845 in this Mi Mix 3 versus 3,270 on the Kirin 980. Wow. <laughs> this phone, this, sorry, this chip, the Kirin 980, is incredible guys and you can thank more than anything else the seven nanometer process that has allowed for uh huawei to be able to develop a chip that is really only now starting to rival and the, like whose only rival is the a12 bionic or the you know apple's chip set and they're funny enough those are the only other chips that are actually running on seven nanometer because right now the snapdragon uh, 845 is not on seven nanometer and it is just a less efficient chip now i'm curious to see what uh what qualcomm will do next for their chipsets but right now the snapdragon 845 is reaching the end of its life the by early this coming year, you will start seeing the next generation of Snap Snapdragon phones. And so if you find yourself in February of next year with this phone or with this phone, you will be kind of up to date with this Karen 980 here, the P30 Pro. And you know the P30 Pro is not going to be out for another couple months now, but that phone is definitely going to be rocking this Kirin 980. So this is a much more kind of future-proof chipset versus the Snapdragon 845 right now. But that's not to say, guys, that the 845 is a bad chip. I'm not going to say that. Of course I'm not going to say that. And in day-to-day -day use, you're not going to notice any major difference right here. Look, everything opens extremely quickly on the 845. And a quick note also, guys, on, on GPU performance. The 845, I think, is still performing really well versus the uh, the Kirin chipsets when it comes to actual GPU performance. And so we can have a look here at gaming on Asphalt 9 on these two phones. Let's have a look at it. But just quickly showing you here, opening up apps on the Kirin 980, it is so speedy. And I show this kind of uh, recently in my other video, how quick it is to just open apps right here. It is really fast. But let's go ahead, let's jump into quick asphalt here. This will be a part of the performance category right here. And let's just play a little bit on both and let's see which one feels, or at least in my sense, performs better. All right, so here we go. We're starting the race on both of these phones. Let's kind of lower the volume on. This is sound coming out of the Honor Magic 2 to start here. And look at gaming experience on these phones. Let's quickly show you first the Mi Mix. Oh, let's do the Honor Magic 2. See how loud it gets. But it is a single speaker on this phone. I don't hear anything coming out 
from this side on the Honor Magic 2. So that looks really great. Looks really good. Now what about the Mi Mix 3 with the Snapdragon 845? It's performing beautifully. In fact, let's lower the volume here on the Honor Magic 2 and raise up the volume on the Mi Mix 3. Let's go, let's go! Oh yeah! Take that! Lower it a little bit here, guys. Back to the Honor Magic... Oh, the Honor Magic 2 is done, so let's just finish the race here on the Mi Mix 3. Now, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I think this Mi Mix 3, in terms of performance, GPU performance, may still have a step above the uh, Kirin 980. Let's get to the end of this race now. There's the finish line. And awesome. And let's be real, guys. Like, how is Asphalt 9 going to perform on both of these phones? Pretty incredibly. And I think, really, at this high end of chipsets, you're getting the best performance on any kind of Android phones with the Snapdragon 845 and the Kirin 980 right here. But just on raw performance, on future proofing, on the 7 nanometer process, guys. We got our winner for performance, guys. It's right here, the Kirin 980 on the Honor Magic 2. Honor Magic 2 is just the more future-proof phone, and so it gets my performance win right here. All right, so let's do it, guys. This is the audio, audio, audio test of Frankie Tech with this classic progressive house right here. Let's start it out on the Mi Mix 3 at 75% right here. Mi Mix 3, 75%. Honor Magic 2, 75%. Mi Mix 3, 100%. And my verdict for audio, guys, Honor Magic 2, it has it beat. The Mi Mix 3, when I compared to the previous like Pixel 3 XL, and when you saw I compared it to the uh, Mate 20X, the Mi Mix 3 did not perform well, and it still doesn't perform as good here as the Honor Magic 2. The sound coming out of the Magic 2 is louder, it has a, a crispier sound, but it still has a lot of bass, a lot of kind of, uh, you know, just a lot of good sound coming out of that bottom firing speaker right here. Honestly, guys, the top speaker on the Mi Mix 3 is almost negligible. It is such a lousy speaker that I really almost just can't entertain I can't even consider it at this point so just looking at the two bottom firing speakers right here I know you guys may be upset you, uh, Xiaomi guys you think you think I hate Xiaomi guys look at my channel I've reviewed more Xiaomi phones than any other manufacturer period I love Xiaomi okay but in this case for the audio test guys the Honor Magic 2 has won with one single speaker it has won this test over the Mi Mix 3 that's the truth all right, and so last but not least is just the camera, guys. The camera performance on these two phones has been great. And you have here on the Mi Mix 3 a very similar camera set up to what was on the uh, Mi 8, but it has been improved uh, quite significantly. So you saw there they got the DxO mark of 108. And right now there is no DxO mark on the Honor Magic 2, but kind of just showing you two photos right here that are pretty similar taken on both phones. And I did have AI mode enabled on all these. I'm not doing, you know, kind of different modes. I'm just picking the phone up and I'm shooting with it. And if AI mode is set up, then that's set up. And you see it there. Which phone took a better shot here? I think it's going to be very hard to pick a winner here. I think the colors on the Mi Mix 3 are a little bit warmer. You can tell there. But I think the sky obviously was really kind of made blue with that AI feature 
on the Honor Magic 2. And it's gonna do that with a lot of these shots, guys. So I think overall, the cameras on both of these phones are pretty impressive. But when it comes to actual low light, and let's have a look at some low light shots here. So you saw that shot I took, and let's compare it with one of the shots that I took on Xiaomi's phone right here. Now, if you notice, there's a little bit more detail. You can clearly see my sweat marks there in this shot. Whereas here, everything is a little bit more just I don't know how to say it. It's just a little bit more cloudy. There's almost like a film over kind of the colors there. But I will say I do kind of appreciate the colors on the Mi Mix 3's uh, selfie camera better. So I think I would still probably pick the Mi Mix 3 in terms of its selfie camera right here. And I think though in terms of the, the actual front camera, though that's a completely different story right here. And if you look at, let's say, this shot is a very nice shot here on the Mi Mix 3. It's a really good shot and it does get a lot of light in here. And there's the night mode now on the Mi Mix 3, which is doing a better job as well. But can it compare to the night mode on the Honor Magic 2 and on Huawei's phones right now? It cannot. And this is the same camera setup you see here, the triple camera setup, the same one that was on the P20 Pro that's being implemented here. And the night mode on this phone is just incredible. And you saw it there on that video I did yesterday. Look at those details. Just being able to kind of hold it steady, you're gonna be able to get a pretty, a pretty damn amazing shot, guys. It's, it's just something really impressive. And in daylight, you see here the shots I took with this phone. They are stellar. They are really just looking good. You see here the shots I took just yesterday. In daylight, this phone is incredible. And the sky blue feature, the AI, AI feature on the Magic 2 is something else. You saw the video though. I think video wise, I, the Mi Mix 3 may still be better because I noticed the, the results of the video on the Honor Magic 2 were a little bit stuttery. The mic issues have always been a problem on Huawei phones, Honor, no, you know, Honor included. But I think if I had to pick an overall camera champ right now, it's going to be a toss up. I think when it comes to, Daylight shots, it's a tie for sure. In terms of low light rear camera, I give it to the Honor Magic 2, but in terms of selfie camera, I give it to the Mi Mix 3. And just the fact that there is 4K 60 frames per second implementation on the Mi Mix 3 might give it the edge in this camera section. But guys, honestly, I'm gonna give it a tie here as well. Both of these cameras are stellar performers, and I think you can't, you won't go wrong with either of these phones in the camera department. And so that's the end of the rundown, guys. And so what is my final verdict here in comparison between these two phones? Now, the truth is I do appreciate many aspects of both phones. I do appreciate Xiaomi's MIUI 10. It's been a great performer. The fact they've included night mode now has been great. I think the display on this phone is really stellar. It's actually as good a display as the one on the Honor Magic 2. The audio is a little bit lower, a little bit lacking, I think, and honestly is, is, is something that you can get by with though. The speaker is not bad, it's just not as good as some of the top performers in the category. And in terms of camera you saw there, it's still a stellar camera performer. And the Honor Magic 2, I said in terms of design and build, it is just sleek, it is beautiful, and you got very similar kind of display, uh, really high quality display here on this phone. Uh, obviously in terms of the performance though, I still think it does get the edge over the Mi Mix 3, especially also then in the kind of just the sound department as well. I think the speaker sounds better and the camera is stellar with that Huawei night mode that is I think second best maybe only to the Pixel 3 XL, but maybe surpasses it on a number of shots as well. And so there's so many things that these things haven't, these phones have in common, but what am I gonna boil it down to guys? It's gotta be the slider. It's gotta be the slider. And the way the mechanism has been implemented on Xiaomi and the Mi Mix 3 is just not as good. And when you're using this phone, now you may be thinking, oh, but it's, it's a slider, you'll get used to it like it's fine. When I was playing Asphalt 9 just now, in fact, I'll put it here. Let me show you guys real quick. When I'm playing Asphalt 9, this thing is shaking. Listen to it. 
it's shaking while I play. Let's switch over to the, the Magic 2. Is this shaking when I play? Not at all. This feels like a phone that is one piece. This feels like a one piece phone. There's no give here whatsoever. And yes, I know what you guys are saying. Oh, it's just a dud. You got a dud. Well, I've already seen two Mi Mix phones now with that issue. And I just think it comes down to what I was saying here in the beginning of the video. The way that they've actually designed the slider mechanism by putting the majority of the part that slides out being the main phone and really the back is almost just kind of like a cover that then houses the camera part here. The way that they've been able to implement that I think is a better solution than the one on the Mi Mix 3 where you have the entire screen just being on this plastic kind of piece that just sits above the rest of the phone. And you see it here, the majority of the phone is below that and you have this kind of thin piece that sits on the top that's made of plastic, that has a big gap, or that has more of a gap, and that just doesn't feel as clean when you actually pull it. And so just for all those reasons alone, guys, and we're talking about slider phones here, a very unique kind of solution in the smartphone game to get rid of the notch, which is the better slider? It's the Honor Magic 2, thereby being, which is the better slider phone of these two phones? It's the Honor Magic 2. Sorry Mi Mix 3 fans, it's a great phone, but it is a flawed phone because the slider mechanism that and the way that Xiaomi actually did it, I don't think makes as much sense and it doesn't feel as premium in the hand and it brings a range of display issues and other build quality issues that you just don't see on the Honor Magic. Too. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, guys. You know, you may be very against uh, my kind of conclusion there on which is the better phone. I picked the Honor Magic 2, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I know there's going to be a very polarizing kind of result here. So hit me up in the comments. I'm ready for all that fire. Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. <laughs> if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, definitely subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit the bell icon for future updates. And stay tuned for some great content coming. I'm not done with these phones just yet guys I will be doing a camera comparison between these phones a more in-depth camera comparison also let me know guys in the comment section what other kind of content would you want to see uh, versus these two phones right here but that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and this is where I leave you by saying this is Frankie Tech signing off y'all have a good one <laughs>